Hey guys, so um, today is going to be a different type of video. Um, I, I have dinner plans with some friends later, so I know I'm going to get ready. I had work this morning and I'm a hot mess, so I figured I could do like a face mask and stuff and you guys could watch. Yeah? Okay. Um, let me see what face mask masks face masks I have one second I like this like big drawer of them I'm gonna get them out what's really funny is like my original plan was to like do some kind of workout and then get ready like simple but it never happens it's hard to stay motivated you feel so this is what I have tons of face masks um, that I just been given let's see Green tea, poor skincare, chic poor care. Hmm. So my hair is up. I think I'm gonna place my camera like right here. Don't really have a good setup yet. It falls. I apologize. So basically, this just kind of got twisted on. So yeah, it's. New Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin, and it just squeezes out. So basically, this is an applicator. I believe I got this at Ulta like, a while ago. So you want a like fairly thick layer because I want to be able to pull it all off at one time. So that's my nose. Um, I think I'm gonna connect it up to my forehead. I mean, it's mainly for your nose, right? Let's read it. No, you can put it on your forehead. I'll put it on my forehead. I feel like I get really, like my worst place is my T-zone. Self-care 2019, you guys. So basically leave this on 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I don't, yeah, I've never really used two masks at once, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna watch a little bit of Netflix and then I'm gonna take a shower. So, so next time I'll know to do one or the other. Look at my scar. That's for another time. <laughs> so I'm just gonna shower this off. I don't, I don't know. It feels good, I feel soothed. <laughs> So yeah, um, I'm gonna do some face scrubness. I have my Lush Angels on Bare Skin that I adore to wash my face with. And yeah, so I'll come back when I'm showered and we can do some makeup. Okay, so I'm back. So I'm gonna show you what I usually do. I have this Witch Hazel um, toner that I put in a spray bottle I already had. Probably need a rainy thought. But it's um yeah I put it in my little urban decay all nighter just to reuse it. Spray that on, let it turn my face. Ooh, what's happening? 
It's fine. It's because I need to refill it. So I don't know about you guys, but I need to literally wash my hair every day. Sometimes I wash it twice a day. I know it's so bad. But um, for me, my hair just gets so oily that it's gross. Nobody likes that. Okay, so I brushed my hair out. It's fine. It's just gonna start drying. I look bald. It's okay. I'm not bald. So my next step is I get this Clinique. My friend works there and she referred me to get this specific one, I believe. The it's a hydrating jelly, but like this one in the inside is for like tired skin. And since I work like pretty early hours, it's good for my skin. My skin gets tired. And it like basically infuses the jelly with some kind of serum. And essentially what this is gonna do is keep me hydrated. Under my makeup um, and kind of regulate my oils. I think that's what she said. Don't quote me on that, guys. I'm just doing what works for me. dries down really nicely um, and then I put on this Moisture Surge Clinique 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator I've just been into so much more skincare now that I'm older I used to literally never put lotion on my face um, which is so bad but yeah I just never did it before oh this feels so good Oh, it smells good too. Oh my gosh, it feels good. All right, so now that that's on and the brows are kind of wet, I kind of like use it to kind of brush them up and over, kind of shape them. Oh, and then I can't forget, I put Vaseline. My lips are super, super, super sensitive and I literally break out at any um, chapstick. So Vaseline's what worked for me. It's on my lips. I wait to go to sleep because my lips tend to get really dry. Okay, um, let me see if this angle works, hold on. Okay, this is gonna have to do, if it falls, it falls. I apologize. I like to get really, really close to the mirror so I can see everything because I'm like, I need to wear glasses usually. I put on my contacts, but I usually put on glasses, so. I like to start off with my brows. I know that's a little weird for some people. They like to lay down their whole face, but I don't do my whole face. So for me, um, so right now I'm using the NYX Eyebrow Powder Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. So this is the one I'm using. It's a cute little spoolie. My, one of my favorite ones is the Goof Proof Pencil by Benefit. And then I actually recently tried this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown, and I really like that one too. This one is just a little bit lighter. It's a little more um, thick. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not good at this. It's my first time, you guys. Now, the thing I'm going to is like a pretty casual um, dinner just at my friend's house. Everybody. The thing is, I do have a ring light, but Joe has to set it up. I'm, I'm a baby, so. Okay, I'm gonna come back. I can show you, I don't know, I'm so bad at this. I don't want this video to be like forever long. I'll be back when they're done. So the brows are rough so that's why we carve them out i'm taking the tart shape tape yes i know in light medium honey and i have a nyx brush i don't know it just says number 14 we're gonna go with that 
and I just carve them out. Um, I guess this is pretty much what everyone does. Maybe not everyone. Maybe they're just good at eyebrows. I don't know. But so I just go underneath with this. So like, look at the difference. It's just like sharper. And it's highlighted because it's concealer, so it's lighter. Um, and then I, I go over the top as well. So this just really helps to find that edge. Cutting into like, look at how sharp she is now. She is sharp. Curve is a little interesting. I mean, th these are a little bit different than my normal brows, so don't judge me. Sorry, you guys. I, I'm gonna get set up. Joe has this like really nice desk set up, but this was kind of random. I just like decided to do it. See, so it's a little bit more cut. I'm gonna finish the other side and then I'll show you what they look like, okay? So yeah, like that's gonna be how they look. And again, like I'm like such a frugal person. I don't like spending a lot of money on makeup unless I know it's like, yeah, it's, it's like really good. If I really need it. I don't know, I, I spend more money on skincare, I would say, than makeup. Definitely more food than makeup. <laughs> Um, so there's that. This one is like my first ever shape tape and I know it's disgusting, I'm sorry. Um, a little bit on my lids. So then I get this one. It's Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Brightening Sunscreen Makeup. This is from Benefit and this is like my summer go-to oil-free, um, it's lasted me since the summer and it's almost February, so that tells you something. Like, like that's it. That's all. That's some people like get crazy. Um, and then I have Mario skincare. You know, everyone knows the spray. Spray it on my face. Um, give me a second. I forgot to wet my makeup sponge. BRB. Okay, she's wet. <laughs> okay, and then I just go in and I lightly with the lightest touch blend, blend, blend. Then my dark circles. See what's happening? She's transforming. I need to stop. I need to go home. Oh wait, I am home. <laughs> this is why I have no friends. <laughs> Shout out to all the pair. I hate when you don't like pat it in all the way, you can see where your wrinkles are gonna start. So yeah, this is basically where I go. I don't even go down here. I don't like go all across my forehead. I just do this little main, little middle part to try to highlight it. Again, guys, I'm really sorry if it's a terrible angle. That's where I'm blended. Um, see, it's like, it's pretty good. I don't know, I don't have the best skin. Okay, so that's done, and I don't bake or anything. I really don't even know how to bake. I don't have any translucent powder. Um, now I'm gonna go in with my, oh, by the way, that was just a regular, um, cool. Hmm. I hate myself. It's fine, it's fine. The original beauty blender. I'm, I'm literally stupid. You know what? Feel free to never subscribe. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so this is my contour kit. Clearly well loved. Light to medium, Anastasia. Look at this. Well loved. And honestly, it was the first contour kit I've ever had. Um, 
so I really wouldn't know any different. So I dipped the two medium shades, like two middle shades, the middle shade and the yellow shade, the banana kind of shade, and I just pat it in just to keep myself from creasing too bad. Again, we're not, I'm not going glam, I'm just like, trying to look pretty natural. People do all sorts of different things to get in a look that they want. Power to them. That's why like, I have a mix of some higher end stuff or just not even high end, just expensive, more expensive, pricier stuff. And then I have a lot of drugstore stuff. Um, my mom like raised me on drugstore cosmetics, same with my grandma. She never had anything super fancy. My grandma never wore foundation or concealer she or eyeshadow. Her thing was brows, wings, lashes, mascara, blush and red lips classic so then i'm going to go on with this um this is an elf bronzing brush from forever ago oh by the way this little like i know this is a contour kabuki sort of brush um 23 uh nyx 23 i go in with the middle shade Just apply a little bit right here. Right now it's winter, so I mean, I don't gotta do much contour. I haven't really found a blush that I really like either. And then I kinda do it on the nose on each side. A super casual way of contouring your nose. I feel like my nose is fine. I'm not saying anyone has a bad nose. It's just like my nose is a Filipino nose. That's what it is. There's no getting away from it. So it is what it is. And then what I do uh, next is I bronze. So I have this little Tarte bronzer in the shade Park Avenue Princess. It's the Amazonian clay. And then I just go into that with the same brush. I know, it's fine. And then I just tease. I apply it like kind of like blush, I guess. I kind of mix in the bronzer, I mean the contour a little bit and bring it out to my apples. And I go to the nose, go to the forehead contour area, just get a little bit of color up there. Does it feel neglected under the chin a little bit? I already have like, I've been blessed with a pretty nice jaw. Um, so I don't go crazy because I don't want to look like a five o'clock shadow. And then what I do, just to give my eyes some dimension for like this quick look, I go right here on the sides and blend because I put the brightening powder up there. But now I'm just adding some depth and just the ends of my eyelids. Just like that. And it creates like a good base coat. A little bit of dimension. I actually learned that from Kristen Dominique. She put bronzer. She was in a rush. She put her bronzer contour, whatever right in there to create a natural dimension. Now I can do a little bit of eyeshadow. I don't go nuts with eyeshadow. I uh, pretty much do the same thing all the time. Um, I have my little, from like years ago, my little Kylie eyeshadow. Two shades. Um, it is Main Squeeze and Sweet Thing. And I go into Sweet Thing with my Visanti Contour Eyeshadow 4 brush. Just dip her into there, shake her off, go into the side. Just my crease, really. So 
Mitte wird sie drin sein. So many beauty gurus have said that the further back you hold your brush, the lighter the touch, the lighter um, you apply the shadow and the more you can blend it. Now, the closer you are, the more exact, the more harsh that is. And so that's how that comes out. Pretty, pretty like neutral eyes. Um, it adds like a little peachy glow to the eyes that I really like. And then I'm gonna take the Naked Heat Urban Decay and then I just have the brush it came with. The little fluffy brush is so fluffy. Then I take this um, chaser. Take that. And I just go above to buff out any harsh lines. Then um, what I like to do is either I go into like some of these colors like low blow or sauced and I just add a little bit with this flat brush. I'm gonna go into sauce today and I'm just gonna put it right in this corner. Yeah, it's just adds a little detail. And then what I do is I go back with this brush and I just blend it again with the Kylie that I laid down. Super simple. So um, next what I like to do is I take ounce, this really, really light color. And I just, I mean, you can even grab your finger and I just pop it in the middle to the inner corner. Sometimes the best thing to blend with is your finger. Softens to look a little bit more. So that's it for eyeshadow. So one of my favorite, favorite things I have. It's called a long wear cream shadow stick and it's Bobbi Brown. And this is the ombre stick in golden pink. And it's literally, I know it's eyeshadow, but I use it like a highlight sometimes. It's just very pigmented, um, like, Look at her pigment. So I go into the inner corners and I just put a little, pop a little bit in the inner corners, which I mean, it's literally an eyeshadow stick, so. Add some little natural glam. And then I go underneath the eyebrow where you would pop some highlight and I, li I literally line. I make a little line with it. I even drag it out past the eyebrow sometimes. Can you see it? When I get the ring light up in this business, you'll be able to see this much better. And while we're here, we might as well get our little brush on. I use this tinted brown mascara from NYX. It's just a dark brown. It's kind of like boy brow glossier, which as soon as I run out of this, I feel like I want to try. Just adds a little detail. We love detail. <clears throat> Okay, so gotta add some highlight to my face. Which one am I gonna use to dry? So I have this one in Tre, Trest, Trestuk. Um, I don't know what shade it is. I got this in an Ipsy bag. I used to be subscribed and I put it right here. I know some people put it lower. This is just where my cheekbone starts, where I notice my own natural highlight when I'm sweaty. So that's where I put it. Um, and I just pat it in with my finger. I put it directly on my skin. I know you should probably like warm it up or whatever. And I actually really like the cream ones. See? But then what I do is I go in with the balm 
And this is a sample I also got in Ipsy. And the color is Kiwa Kirishiba. Help. <laughs> I am the worst at pronouncing things and just saying, speaking in general. Then I get my beauty blender and I brush it on there and then I literally just beat it on my face. This has like this gold pigment that matches the Bobbi Brown um, one rolled up. Basically, I just go for a daily bronze goddess look. So now that that's done, um, I'm just gonna pop some lashes on and then we'll do it. So this is the look. Pretty natural day bronzy glam. Honestly, lashes bring everything together. So what I'm gonna put on my lips is this NYX um, suede matte lipstick in the shade Free Spirit. And I have the, whatchamacallit for it, lip liner for it, but she broke and I need to buy a sharpener. So that's gonna happen later. So I just put this straight on. She ain't got shopping now. I'm never usually one to overdraw my lips because I feel like my lips are okay. But with like this lipstick, I kind of want to do it. She's falling. <laughs> a little net overdraw never hurt nobody, right? And then I'm gonna just try out this gloss, lip gloss in Saint Tropez. So I'm gonna go finish getting ready, put clothes on, and then chill until it's time to go to dinner. So thanks for watching. Um, this is kind of random. Promise to have a better setup next time. But make sure you give me a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you're if you feel called to, if you feel led. Um, I'm planning so many videos, I just don't know how to start. I feel like I'm a crazy person, so one step at a time. <laughs> Hello, shower. All right, you guys, see you later. Bye.